Coming up on TV2 News, about 7,000 Portage County residents faced power outages last night, and many were left without power this morning. We'll have more coming up. And later, the presidential campaign steps to the national stage with Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump at the forefront. We'll have a preview of Super Tuesday soon to come. And plus, one Southern Ohio church is mourning the loss of their pastor who was shot over the weekend. With that full story up ahead. And temps rose to 65 degrees yesterday, but will look a little different for this week. I'll have the details in my forecast, and TV2 News starts now. From the award-winning Kent State Student Media Newsroom, this is Portage County's TV2 News at 5.30. Nearly 7,000 Portage County residents were left without power last night. Good evening, I'm Chip Reed. And I'm Lexi Walters. First Energy worked quickly to restore the power after the outage. Our reporter Alex Taylor has more. Alex? Thanks, Chip and Lexi. The extremely high winds last night left about 7,000 people in Portage County in the dark. First Energy confirmed most of the individuals who were affected are from Rootstown and Edinburgh Townships. Rootstown Local Schools, the Biomed Science Academy, and Southwest Local Portage Schools were closed today due to the outages. Rootstown resident Becky Martell gives us some insight on how her family was affected by the loss of power. It started like flickering on and off a little after 2 o'clock in the morning and then it went completely out probably about 3.30 and it didn't come back on at our house until like 10.30. We live in Rootstown and I actually work in Akron so I actually had to miss work today because um, living where we live we have um, like well water and everything so when we lose power we also lose water. I missed work today and my husband went in a few hours late. And as of 1.30 this afternoon, only 100 people were still left without power. First Energy is continuing to take care of the problem. For TV2 News, I'm Alex Taylor.